Okay, let's just have you introduce yourself if you wouldn't mind. Sure. Um, I'm Barb Wykey, and I've been a member here at St. Peter for about 30 years. No, not 25 years. I lied. Can I change that? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Do you want to start it from the top? Yes, then? can we start again? Okay. Sure, go ahead. Uh, my name is Barb Wykey. I've been a member here at St. Peter for 25 years. Our children went to school here, and it's quite a blessing to be part of St. Peter. Okay, um, then let's do what you were talking about just in general of what this specific project was Why as part of Big it. Days of okay. Serving. Yeah. Um, St. Peter has sponsored Caris Pregnancy Center for many years and the Caris Pregnancy Centers is getting ready to have a shower for 11 young ladies that are going through the program and so we are looking for a creative way to present them with the things that they would need for a brand new baby. Um, Caris has been kind enough to walk with these little girls right from the beginning. They uh, help them, um, guide them and spiritually um, talk to them about the way the Lord loves them and how important they are to God and they've elected to have these children and we at St. Peter would like to support that. Okay great that was really good. Um, how about specifically here I'll go a little wider we'll just okay whatever you're ready go ahead. Okay so St. Peter was generous enough to uh, we asked that they donate diapers and receiving blankets and bibs and things like that so a lot of the items that are in these diaper trikes were donated by our members here at St. Peter. Um, this little diaper trike that we've got in front of us has about 60 diapers in it. Uh, they're newborn diapers for the mothers right when they get home. It has a couple of washcloths in it, two receiving blankets, it's got bibs, a pacifier, some booties, a bottle and a little stuffed toy to just kind of make it cute um, but they're they're everything that you need right when you come home um, they're easily taken apart so everything in here is usable for a brand new baby very good <laughs> uh, okay. okay go ahead um, so we had approximately 20 volunteers that came and helped Patsy Crawford and myself to put these together. They had a little difficulties at the beginning, but you know, we had great fun trying to learn together and we were able to make uh, 12 diaper trikes for uh, Caris Pregnancy Center. And it was a great opportunity um, to serve our Lord and to be together in fellowship with our uh, fellow members. I have to tell you, most of the women that were here, I've not met before. So it was great to meet them and they were all very, enthusiastic about being part of this project and we hope to continue it later on. That's for you ready. So the reason we got involved with this is I called Karen Kogler because I had this idea for Karis Pregnancy Centers and she helped me uh, facilitate everything to be able to put this project together. So if you have any ideas, all you'd have to do is call her and she would be happy to get you involved in Big Days of Service. They happen to, they want to do some more of them. Um, you can lead a project, you can be part of a project, but it's a great opportunity uh, to give back to the community and also for fellowship with our fellow people here at St. Peter. It's fine. So anyway, um, we put together about 800 of these um, little kits that have the uh, leather bracelet. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Today we're serving um, the people of El Salvador, and we are putting together um, witness bracelets and glasses cases to take on the trip with us. And I have a bunch of volunteers here today to help with this. Perfect. 
Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, when we were asked to do this project um, via Karen Kogler, uh, I told her that we really didn't have the funding to uh, pay for all our supplies. And so I asked her if we could be funded perhaps by the volunteer ministry. And she said she could. So that made it a whole lot easier to purchase the material, especially the, the leather goods for this get, you know, pretty expensive. So um, we were very thankful for that. Yeah, and so especially since I left my hammer down there again. Okay. And just prefer to Habitat for Humanity, I guess. Sure. Too. Okay. So today we're here building the house or helping doing a rehab for Habitat for Humanity uh, with a group of volunteers from St. Peter. Some newbies, some first timers, some veterans, and uh, we've gotten a whole bunch done here today and it turned out to be such a beautiful day and it was a lot of fun, so. That's perfect. That's okay, whenever you're ready. So we got involved in uh, Habitat uh, probably about four years ago. I got involved about four years ago. Uh, Mike campus is the St. Peter um, Habitat Coordinator. And when we heard that Karen Kogler uh, put in the bulletin that there's going to be a big, big serving day, um, we thought that it would be a great opportunity to try to get some people who haven't been involved in Habitat uh, to come out and surf. And it's, uh, we've got, I think, five new people here today, plus some regular folk. And it's been uh, a great day so far. We're having a nether uh, build in June. We're going to have a three-day build June 20th through 22nd. And I would encourage anybody who hasn't served to come out and join us. Perfect. That was and, uh, ask, asking the congregation if you've never done well, this before. There's a lot of people out there that have and interested in doing something like this and I just want to encourage them because it's really not beyond your your abilities what it is is having their willingness to to do it it's the heart that is the, the big difference uh, they supply you with all the tools and uh, there's always enough guys around that uh, know what they're doing that you won't go too far astray and when they do they lead you back gently uh, it's a wonderful experience it's my first time doing it. Uh, I'm sure it won't be my last. Uh, other than the honeydews that I've got to get rid of around the house, you know, this has been uh, the most fun in a long time. So, uh, let's see, I'm doing this, and then tomorrow my son is doing part of the cobweb squad, so you guys uh, be ready for that tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. Great, thank you. That's so creepy. I 
of your singing bits. I still have more. You should. I didn't need to put... Okay, sure. Then. So tell me a little bit about your project, Sherry. Well, I worked with the Phil's friends, and we were on the card making committee. I organized that, and we made both joke cards and cards for care packages, which had special Bible verses. That was kind of neat because we had people of all ages. We had like a one-year-old kind of doing some artwork with mom and dad who wrote the verses um, all the way through adults. We had preschoolers working on it and they kind of are working as a, as a pair with some of the um, adults in the congregation who could do the special verses and we have the special artwork from the kids so it's working out pretty well. How did it work out for you being a project coordinator? It worked out well. It's a good experience. We get to you know, see everyone working hard on their day of service and see the benefit that it can have. And was there, did you see anything that kind of, um, how did you or the people working with you feel a connection to, who were the people being helped by Phil's friends and um, how did you feel a connection to them? Phil's friends are people who have cancer and we got to do jokes to hopefully make them laugh and also to just share special Bible verses and messages. It's just kind of nice to know that we get to kind of share what Jesus means to us with them. That's good, yeah. Okay. Um, well, the only thing is how about the connection we were trying to talk about? Don't, don't let me oh, okay. Go ahead. What made Big Days of Serving special? It was neat to be part of a a project that we got to work together with all types of different people from St. Peter, with the young ones, the older ones, and to really come together for a common purpose, which was to help uh, bring a little joy, hope, and comfort to some of the cancer patients at Bill's Friends. And would you recommend um, this experience to other people for future big days of serving? It was great. This was a really good experience, and I'm sure there's just like so many other opportunities as well. And I recommend everyone get involved. It's a good way to meet new people and to help. Perfect. Go ahead. Why did you sign up for big days of serving, Jill? I wanted to do something. I wanted to get involved. It seemed like a really important thing at St. Peter, and I wanted to get involved and do something that would help others. Um, but it was important to me that it was something that my whole family could do. I have two younger daughters, and I wanted to make sure that they could come with me, which is why we chose Phil's friends there in Roselle. Did anyone come with you, with you and your daughters? My husband. My husband was also there, so it was the entire family was able to go, and I really liked that because we were all able to be involved. And did your family enjoy uh, serving? We had a fantastic time. They, it, we made cards, we colored boxes, we um, addressed envelopes, and we packed care packages. My youngest daughter had a great time packing care packages. And what I liked was my daughters getting to see, getting to help other kids that are not doing as well as they are. And so to give back to other people that way it was just a phenomenal experience for us. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, whenever you're ready. Was there any conversation among your family or uh, afterwards? Absolutely. Um, my husband lost both his parents recently to cancer, so it was very meaningful to him to be doing something. His own parents didn't benefit from Phil's friends, so he felt like he was doing something in their memory. Um, my daughters, I was concerned, would they be nervous about what they had done about hearing about cancer and things. They just felt so good about having helped other people. They wrote a couple jokes, drew a couple pictures, so they were wondering what someone was gonna think about. I know my one daughter was praying that whoever got her card would know about the character she had drawn. And so she was praying that God would lead that card to somebody that would appreciate it and know what she had drawn, and I thought that was really neat too. Here, okay, so I don't, you're ready. I, I don't need to be asked a question though. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I would highly recommend to anybody that they come out for the big days of serving at St. Peter because not only are you giving to other people, which is a wonderful thing, but you are getting to take something away from that, and that's being with other people, being in fellowship with the Lord, and you can just feel him right there in the middle of what you're doing, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Are we ready? So tell me a little bit about the project you coordinated, Jeff. Okay, my friend Aaron and I um, coordinated with Heartland Blood Centers, who's a local organization that um, give blood back to the different counties around us. So we, it was easy to coordinate because we called the center and basically they gave us all the information we needed, sign-up sheets, um, reminder notes, and there was an online blood you know, system where they could uh, email 
online and sign up that way. So that was easy to coordinate. Um, and then we also, before the days of service, we had to sign up for volunteers, for helpers to help register the donors, bake goods for the donors, um, and just help feed and serve the donors. So that was ways that you could serve through our days of serving. Why did you pick that project? Why a blood um, Well, my friend Erin, she is very helpful to others, so she kind of took the lead on finding that project. But she thought, you know, what could be better than giving the gift of life to others for, you know, something so simple as sitting, you know, the whole process took about an hour for the donors and then you know they had all they had to do was stay at St. Peter for an hour and then give the gift of life so I think that was why she chose that and we chose that together. What was it like on that day among the donors the other helpers? Right it was um, neat it was very well organized they came in set up um, explained the easy process of how to register the donors um, this was our first time, you know, working with them. They they were thrilled with how many we had 28 units of blood that were given. Um, so they were thrilled. They thought that was a great number. And you know, everyone was in spirit. Some people had to wait a little bit longer than, you know. But this was the first time. But everyone stayed calm and were, <laughs> you know, were kind to each other and just you know, smiles on everybody's faces. And they were appreciative of all the things we did for them. So would you recommend um, to other people considering being a project coordinator? Yes, it was very simple. If you have a project, you could find a friend to help organize it. Um, and Karen and Isabel emailed with directions and kept us informed of what was coming up. Um, so I felt like it was pretty manageable working as a full-time teacher as well. And would you recommend that uh, people who haven't been involved in a big day of serving uh, it worth their time to give it a try? Yes, it's worth your time to help others in need around your community. Give an hour of your time. Very simple. Um, just, you know, remember that you're doing it for God's will, you know, helping others. And I would definitely recommend it. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Yeah.